Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to my Discover University <laughs> Let's Play here in The Sims 4. We have a lot to actually discover, excuse the pun, that was horrendous, but we yeah. do have a lot to discover yeah. in this part because Joanne just graduated and she also just got this yeah. notification that says, congratulations, university has earned Joanne oh, Yates great. a degree and the proof is in her diploma. You can find it in Joanne's inventory. Also, you will notice, uh, excuse me, this isn't your bed. What are you doing? Get out of here. Um, is this locked? Is this unlocked? This house is mental. I knew that this house was going to be fully chaotic after we had the baby. So we've got a lot to catch up on. Um, I've got to get my shiz together. Um, we're going to have the robo come and repair this house. Toilet. Someone in the comments said that it was surprising that a robot could repair a toilet because you figured that they would just break because they have to like stand in water. But these robots are more hardy than we really think they are. So Joanne, have you finished doing what you needed to do? Triple checked. Joanne checked not once, not twice, but three times. Who are you? Father Christmas. All right, so she has a graduation portrait, which is adorable. I'm gonna pause the game because it's freaking New Year's Eve and we just graduated and therefore we need to go have a party. We need to go and enjoy our life. We're in like a level eight engineer career and we worked freaking hard for it. Oh my God, look at this. We're gonna add a yellow frame. Oh my god, that's actually adorable though. This wasn't one that I took. This just happens to appear in your Sims inventory. Don't ask me how they get it because I wasn't warned of it. And then we have this degree, which I want to put up on a wall somewhere. Uh, her room is literally like just a little nerd's room. Like my room, as you can see, you can't really see because you can't really see my backdrop behind me. But I just have like bits and bobs everywhere. And I feel like any nerd or gamer like has a room like that we don't do minimalistic we're practically all hoarders of games and just like franchise things and swag like I get a lot of swag <laughs> humble brag but I do get a lot of swag from like sims whenever I go over and so I have a lot of just like random clutter items what's this a framed blueprint no component too complex no invention too intricate in a world of pure in a world of pure imagination oh I love Willy Wonka take a look and you'll see that you will create. We'll begin with a spin. Seeing blueprints in our sleep. Anything is a possibility. That seriously sounds like she is on crack. Like that is, I told you this part was gonna be chaotic. Also, this is Casey, this is the baby. You know, she's a baby in The Sims 4. Don't really have a lot of detail to go into because we all know babies are objects in The Sims 4 and that's Casey. Also, re did their room. I can't remember their names. <laughs> I haven't recorded a let's play part in like a week and whenever I take like a few days off I cannot remember anyone's names. Sydney and Jamal. This is their new bedroom. I said that I was gonna turn this into like a little hub for them. So you got like Jamal's painting kit over here. They've got his and her desks which is very cute if I may say so myself. And yeah it's just pretty basic but again you know artists love a bit of clutter so he has like paints everywhere, drawings everywhere, and it is getting late. We need to go party. I always come to this pub. I feel like I probably shouldn't considering she's now graduated and she's not a student anymore. But I feel like Servo, I need to change her name to Robo because I just call her Rain Robo. Is she an alien? I think she's just yellow. I mean, that is a look. I feel like Robo is gonna be like the life and soul of a party. So we are gonna, we can scan for traits and scan for mood. Oh my God, that's amazing. I wanna come over to this alien chick. We're gonna scan up for her mood. I wanna explore kind of the servos a little bit cause I haven't really played with them too much. And honestly, definitely gonna be the life and soul. Look how happy this robot is. A sim could never look this happy. Oh my god, who is Joanne attracted to? Joanne, who are you attracted to? 
Uh, Fetu? Isn't this guy- you've, You're attracted to Fetu? Really? You've never told me about your attraction. Also, why does everyone look so pissed off? Is this the New Year's thing? We need to buy a drink. Let's go order a drink for the group. We need a drink so that we can do the agabadoo or whatever the hell they say. I'm trying to think, what do they say? They say something very, very specific when it's the countdown. Mora is feeling fine. Hell yeah you are, Mora. Let's go give. Oh, we're grabbing our drink. I still don't understand how ro robos, servos, whatever the hell you want to call them. I don't understand how they can drink. Shishumi. That's what they say. Shishumi. Isn't that, isn't that a fish? Isn't that raw fish? Isn't that sushi? That's the word I was looking for. I'm fairly sure sashimi is fish. So why why do they all say shishumi? Ah, oh, I need to count down. Ah, oh, we can flirt. Watch the midnight countdown. Watch the midnight countdown. Watch the midnight countdown. Both of you, watch the countdown. Right, stop talking to each other. Freaking get your shishumi on. Oh, and this is feeling uncomfortable. Oh, it's low charge. I swear, always has like the worst battery life. I think we need to work on upgrading it. Why are we watching dogs bark for New Year's? That makes no sense. What the hell? There's just a bunch of dogs barking and a toddler just like throwing paint everywhere. Who is this? Eric Leslie. Oh my god. We're gonna scan Eric for traits because he feels as if he looks like he has a whole personality behind him. Anyone who can get away with wearing this bottle opener cat necklace definitely has the personality that I want to get to know. Befriend a child? Robo, not, not to be weird, but that sounds, that sounds a little like sketchy. Why the heck do you want to befriend a child? Why are you brought into this earth and the first thing you want to do is befriend a child? Oh, it grabs Servo's attention and never let go. <laughs> what did? The drink? Oh, look. Get your little creepy robot eyes out. Uh, angler outgoing and mean. Angler? He's a mean fisherman. We can risky hook up in the closet. We're gonna give a friendly introduction. We should probably do a rude introduction, to be honest, considering that Eric is mean. Look, we can flirt with Invisi View flat screen TV and we can chat with it. I wanna flirt. I wanna flirt with a TV. Imagine if this just turns up in my relationship bar. My servo just gets herself into a relationship with a freaking TV. I think you can do this with any electronic. I think you can like actually flirt with an electronic. But it doesn't do anything. So really, what's the point of this interaction? Like if they could full on be in a romantic relationship with each other, like if it was shown in her relationships, that would be sick. Calculating compatibility. Exchanging amorous data packets causes servo circuits to spark. Oh, and she's feeling flirty. She's full on flirty. I haven't had her recharge. We should probably get her home. Scientific fact that servos dream of electric freezer bunnies whilst they recharge. Is that like the Energizer buddy? Is that a reference to real life? Is this real life? I think it might be. Where's Joanne? You know, I wanted to invite, what's his name out? Uh, the one that you guys have been shipping Joanne with, even though we barely have like any connection to him. Um, but she thinks that Cam is attractive. I feel like everyone has tried to romance Cam in University Let's Plays, although I haven't actually watched that many people's just because I have not had time at the minute. Like that's why I don't know about servos in the slightest. So that was a pretty piss poor New Year's Eve. I'm not gonna lie. Nothing really happened. I was kind of like, ooh, maybe 
maybe we'll have Robo and Eric hook up in the closet. But, you know, the first thing you don't want to be doing is hooking up with some random person. Like, imagine just being plopped into the earth and the first thing you do is, like, drink wine and then hook up with someone in a closet. That's when you know you've, like, reached humanity. That's when you know you're at a human stage in life. When you make major life decisions that just completely ruin the rest of your future. But we're gonna come down here and I wanna see what else she can do for her career. So if we go to career and then engineer, like I said, she did get a degree and therefore she is a level eight in the engineering degree. She can optimize equipment design, review diagnostics, review product specifications, and write a product report. So we're gonna write a product report as of right now. Uh, Robo is charging up her battery. So it kind of works just like a regular sim. They can nap, they can go to sleep, and they can just like shut down and recharge themselves, I think. I honestly wish I had that talent. I wish I could just shut my brain off and just like have it recharge for like 24 hours. I was at VidCon last weekend and I feel like my life would be a lot better this week if I could have just shut my brain off and recharge. But you know what? I have a job and this is real life. We are gonna breastfeed this baby. Whip your booby out please and feed your damn child because she is screaming. Jamal is gonna come back to bed. Oh, thank God. These guys don't have um, university. I keep forgetting that these guys are still in uni. Now that Joanne's graduated, I'm like, yeah, this is fine. They just became good friends. Yeah, I would hope so. She's sucking on your tatas and go back to sleep. Actually, it's almost 7 a.m. and you don't really need sleep. So go use this and then come down here. We're gonna serve some breakfast. We are gonna go with a very healthy, happy, <laughs> that's a random Peppa Pig quote. Don't ask me why I know that one random quote. You got a very happy, healthy fish. I think it's just cause I love the accent almost as much as I love this robotic plum bob. I just, I need to like explore what else that these guys can do. So they can flirt with random electrical items, but it doesn't really have any effect, like long lasting effect. I don't think it's gonna build up a relationship at all, which is kind of boring. I really wish like it was in Avatar and you could like put your electrical wires together and then you could have like a robo baby. Sims 4 team, what are you doing? We are lacking in robo babies. I wonder if they can get pregnant. We could risky woohoo. <gasps> now I wanna test the theory. Oh, Eric, we're gonna invite Eric to hang out at the current lot. I wanna see if I can get my robo pregnant because apparently even in the last part, robo shouldn't have wet themselves. They were doing a pee. And one of you guys said that's probably due to like a mod that you have. And that is most definitely a glitch because robots should not be able to pee. And yet, Mine defied all odds and was managed to pee. So Eric, I love how like two minutes ago, I was like, no, we are gonna randomly hook up with Eric. Who do you think I am? And now I'm like, oh, Eric, he's coming over at 8 a.m. Oh my God, he is a booty call. Okay, let's scan for his mood and then we need to, we need to full on get romantic with him. All right, Eric, it's time to get romantic. We are gonna compliment his appearance and flirt with him a fair few times. This is like the surefire way to get romantic with someone in The Sims 4. Kind of reminds me in The Sims 2, although I think in The Sims 2 people could get bored with your conversations if you did like the same things over and over again. I think they have that in The Sims 4, but it takes like a lot of time for it to actually happen. No, don't walk away from me. Excuse me, we were just getting romantic. 
and then he walks away. Do you not want a romantic relationship with a robot? Do you know how inspiring this could be? We could be the very first couple to ever have a robot baby. It's not gonna be a robot baby, I can already assure you. I just wanna see if a robot can actually get pregnant in The Sims 4. Cause I know you can woohoo them. Talk about fantasies, whoa girl. Clearly, he's into it. He is so into it. We're gonna flirt with him. We should try and exchange our numbers. I don't know why we're complimenting his appearance, quite honestly. He has corn hair. I feel like you shouldn't romance anyone who has corn hair in The Sims 4. Stop walking away! Ugh, I am gonna wrap my wires around you. Seriously, boy, don't make me get my wires crossed because things will go badly. Oh my god, he really doesn't want this. Or he's just trying to wind me up. Is this like some weird kind of sexual tension thing that you're trying to build up by walking away from me? Is that what's happening right now? I hate him. I hate the way he looks. But also, like, you have to be a confident sim to wear this kind of outfit. Although, what shoes is he wearing? What shoes is he wearing? Is he wearing wellies? He's wearing wellies. Oh god. And it's springtime! It's not even winter anymore. <gasps> They're having their very first kiss. Okay, we can't woohoo in this. Uh, can we... We can't woohoo in the shower either because we're a damn robot. What can we do? I can't even risky woohoo anymore. I don't have the option. Compliment appearance. We had our first kiss. Hello? We should be able to... Oh, now he doesn't like us. Eric, stop playing hard to get. I just want to woohoo you. I brought him back to the club so that we can... Uh, what the heck? Why has it disappeared? Go here together. Maybe if we click on him, it'll appear again. I want to see the robot's sexy pose. Yes, show me that sexy pose. Oh my god, that is the worst thing I ever did see. <laughs> he liked it though, he gave us- Oh, we can woo him. Oh, was I on Joanne? Weirdly? Cause now we can't even try for baby or do like risky- Wait, risky hookup. <gasps> okay, this is it. We're gonna do the risky hookup in a closet. She's gonna become a celebrity off the back of this. I already know. This does actually help with your- Oh no, she's staying out of the spotlight, so that ain't gonna happen. Who's up here? Who's about to witness this? Marcella, this little alien chick. I feel like I need to remove these skin tones from my game because people who have like green and purple skin tones aren't actually aliens, but I really want them to be. I wish that aliens were more of a thing. Maybe this is like the perfect let's play to introduce an alien. Like I miss having alien babies. I've been obsessed with Juno Birch, who is a drag queen from Manchester, like myself, a fellow mank. She basically plays The Sims 2 and she's been playing with Strangerville, which is like my favorite thing because I used to love Strangerville as a child. Oh, we had our first kiss and we had our first moment and our first woohoo. I don't think she's ever gonna get pregnant, but it's kind of amazing that we just did that. So I'm gonna end this part here because that was a wild roller coaster. We actually didn't even start Joanne's um, career, but honestly, why do you want to focus on a career when you have a freaking robot in the family these days? But yeah, go watch Juno. I will leave her links in the description down below. Go subscribe to her. She's like my new favorite like Sims player and I'm fully obsessed. And I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It was kind of all over the place, but I actually, really enjoyed it and I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye guys!